Tired of getting sand kicked in your face? <sighs> gotta do the calisthenics three times a week. Keep my heart rate up. You got blood on your shirt. Oh. Ah. Uh, cut myself shaving. There's something that you need to hear. Alvarez surfaced. Intercepted this call a little while ago. I don't understand a word of that. You mind translating? <laughs> Basically, you scared the shit out of Alvarez. He's ready to hightail it back to Cuba. Wants his dear uncle Zaraga to come rescue him. And what did Zaraga say? He told him to meet him at the lighthouse on the southern edge of the bayou. He'd send a boat to pick him up. I'm guessing that was a lie. <laughs> Zaraga was a police officer back in Havana when Batista was still running the country. He also provided security for Sal's casinos. The two of them go way back. As soon as Zaraga hung up the phone, he called Sal and told him where he could find his nephew. Which means I need to get down there before Marcano's men. Sal's not gonna fuck around when it comes to Alvarez, so make sure your shit's squared away. I need transportation. Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get her idea. Got a car here for you. Appreciate it.
Small talk to yourself. Oh, oh fuck! Snakes! You gonna let an itty bitty moccasins get you, boy? Creeping and crawling all up on you? Just keep your eyes peeled in case this Alvarez got legs out in this direction. I'm here to help you. Come in here, that. Vence todo para pinga. You understand English? <laughs> See? I killed the men outside. I only want to talk to you, so I'm going to put my gun down, all right? If you try and fuck me, I kill you. Fair enough. You're the one who wants to kill me! I wasn't trying to kill you, I was trying to find you. Your uncle, he sold you out. He ain't coming to get you. You're lying! I just spoke to him, he said he was sending a boat. Wait, you think it's a coincidence that as soon as you got here, those grease balls showed up? Zaraga called Marcano, told him where to find you. I, I must find a phone. Jesus, man, there's no one for you to call. 
Marcano is never gonna let you out of this city. He's gonna use you, and when he gets what he wants, he's gonna kill you. The only shot of getting out of this alive is me. What do you want from me? Tell me where Marcano's counterfeit operation is set up and we're square. Everything is, uh... In a boxing ring that Tony Marcano owns, but it's already up and running. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Come on. It's time we got the hell out of here. Where are you taking me? I know someone who can get you out of the city. Make sure Marcano doesn't find you.
That fucking oint. Don't come. Need a new vehicle here in the bayou. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Set of Hot Wheels, just like you ordered. Appreciate it. Was the last of them, I think. Yeah, well, keep it up. You could have killed me, put a bullet in my head, and still fuck Marcano. You got a question in there somewhere? Yeah. Why didn't you? It just didn't sit right. Look, you didn't do anything to me. As far as I can tell, you're just another person in the long line of folks Marcano's fucked over. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
Lagan. What's going on? I need your help getting this man out of the city. He's in a lot of trouble with Sal Marcon. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't. Hit the lepers. This is who you told me about? Yeah, he's the one. Listen, father, I'm really counting on you here. I got nowhere else I can take him. Shit, I'm. All right. I know a Jesuit in New Mexico. He helps people in situations like this. What needs to happen right now? Marcano's gonna tear this city apart and look for him. All right, I'll make the call. Pasa, por favor. Aquí estás a salvo. Gracias. I appreciate this. the city good he told me you saved his life all i did was get him away from marcano's men and thank god for that let me ask you something you ever hear how sal marcano wound up running this city him and his brothers killed a few guys and took over he sold out his own father lincoln watched him die and then he killed every man standing in his way butchered them them and anyone else he thought was a risk, warranted or not. How do you know that? Oh, the priest. The sanctity of the confessional isn't always absolute. I'm not an idiot, Lincoln. You're a criminal. Sammy was a criminal. I accepted that a long time ago. But there's a difference between being a criminal and being a Sal Marcano. I'm not Sal Marcano. Easy to say that now, but what about when this is over, when there's no one standing in your way? I haven't decided yet. You're a good man, Lincoln. I know it's odd to hear that, considering everything you've done. But it's true. You have it in you. I've seen it. But you're gonna have to decide, have to choose, whether you let all of this consume you, pervert you, turn you into the very thing you hate. Going after Sal's family, killing them like that. I know what kind of men they were, but it just doesn't sit right.
Americano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. <sighs> Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here, this ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the plate. He's gonna come after him, you understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcee Bennett. Alcee is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. <laughs> if he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Elsie's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcee? Mm, I heard about Sammy Nellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. I'm taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way. Fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him. I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. 
Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think you wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? You gonna kill us! Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think you wouldn't notice that? I ain't gonna question your driving, but you might wanna pay attention. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think you wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever call home. Christ, I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room at the... I'll see. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Nav Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker room's down here on the end. Hang back, boy. Who's this gun if I ain't shooting it? Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, Al C? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, Elsie? New guy. New guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, Elsie. What's that? All you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> nah, we'll beat the fuck out of anyone. <laughs> it so what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again. It's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Through here. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jackknife Johnson! compared to the brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it.
Chuck Nat Johnson is on a roll tonight. Next up, the champ. Making his way to the ring is the beast of the bayou, the rampage of River Row, your champion, Glenn Digavon! You know why they call him Grave Digger. Because he buries motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. Mix some vegetable oil in. Mix the gasoline thick, sticky. We just don't let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work his way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> that way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. <laughs> And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your leg. But as they burn... Ah! <laughs> oh, motherfucker! Fire! Fire now! <laughs> Fucking red even again. You don't have to do this. We can work something out. Only thing needs working out of your funeral arrangements. that way you know Sal wanted me to go to law school work for some big company maybe run for office do something decent with your goddamn life you understand should have listened to him it's in the blood you know yeah you are who you are no point in arguing with yourself about it Fuck you. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. Say hello to Lou. Tell him Sal will be along shortly. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck. Look who we got here. Damn. 
Get him! Run for cover! This is going to be fun. Hey, hey! Uh, off the wrong white boy. Kill one of our boys. We got another man. Goddamn shooting gallery. Oh, down the man. We're taking out the whole team. Who's got shells? He's here! Taking cover! I ain't going out like that! down. I'm blood. Oh, my time is up. What's he think?
already. Oh, where that come from? Settle now. No motherfuckers die for you. Lost another one. I'm not ready to die. Run for cover. I'm not fucking ready, man. Spider one, boys. to the money plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. Langan once told me he couldn't tell any other cheat. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. 
Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Is it over? There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. I heard from my boys before I came over here, and they locked down this turf without any trouble. We're good whichever direction you go here, but we're even better if you make it official and let me call the shots there. I'm glad I hear we got Marcano's cocksuckers on the run, and I'm willing to look past the fact that you didn't call me about this action, if you just give me the turf altogether. Everybody's got their play, brother. But the truth is that I'm the one you called on to run the last territory. So all that racket shit aside, you know I can handle the day-to-day -day better than anybody else here. You got no idea how long I've been dreaming of this moment, Lincoln. This... this is the real shit. Fuck Marcano, fuck them all! This city is ours, Lincoln Clay. Let's wrap this up. Take your time, lad. Wouldn't want to fuck up this last piece of the city. <laughs> I'm towing the line, Lincoln. That's got to mean something. Calling this one for Scaletta. Thanks, kid. Spent most of my life getting fucked by one asshole or another. And what we got going here is a real future. Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. Kinda thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. Fuck. Fuck. You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. <laughs> I, I have Wade figured Lincoln will have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised. And I'm lucky to be a part of it. Holy Christ! How the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for a certain Scarlet I'd have his throat slit by now. You did a bang-up job here, lad. A goddamn dream come true. Can't wait to see where we go from here. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. in the bayou and I need transportation. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Set a Hot Wheels just like you ordered. That's a big help. Thank you. 
It's over here. You're making me look, making me work for it, aren't you? Look at what the tides brought in. Taking a heap of fire, boys! Taking a heap of fire, boys! I feel like that boy's trying to kill me.